Today is the 7th of September, 2024. It's Prophet Ellen Justin's 61st birthday, and an outreach has been planned to bless the children of the Bochapelo Community Development Center in Michalisburg. I don't need anything from you. I don't need a cake. I don't need a shirt. I don't need a shoes. I don't need anything. God has blessed me already. But for you to reach my level, the secret is to go out and give to those who cannot afford. To give the people that do not know you. The less privileged, the people cannot give you back to you. These are the people you have to give. The secret of blessing is not about fasting and pray. The secret of blessing is to give from the heart. Even how much it costs you, but give to the people who cannot give you back. We have prepped the food and everything that needs to be taken for this particular lunch today at the Bochapello Community Development Center. As you can see, the juice, 200 bottles of these that's been prepared by Prophet himself, has been ready, packed, and waiting to be loaded into the truck. As you know, Prophet Ellen Justin and his wife, Ma Prophet, has donated their time and energy since the beginning of the ministry days to giving to the less privileged. One of the motto of the ministry, Blessing TV, is giving to the less privileged is greater than preaching the gospel. And Prophet lives by this word, as you can see that he has donated his truck to accompany us to the outreach to carry all the food, the juice and the shoes that is needed for today's outreach. We now go to Michalisburg Bochapello Community Development Center, leaving the premises of Holy Grounds, Blessing TV, WCCC, Tabernacle in Ranfontein. After a 30 minute drive, we have arrived at Bochapelo Community Development Center. The children have been waiting for us for almost the entire day, and they're very excited to see the truck arrive. And the food, of course, has this wonderful aroma that they cannot help. And all of them immediately climbed into the truck the moment they saw it arrive. Very happy and celebrating in complete joy at the sight of it.
are here again. Do you remember who Prophet Ellen Justin is? Yes. <laughs> Prepare the food, you prepare the pap, rice, chicken stew, oh. juice. Oh. And you know what I must tell you a secret about the juice? The juice is prepared by Prophet Ellen Justin himself. He made the juice with his own hands. Look how lucky you are. The Mama Prophet make the food herself and Prophet make the juice himself. After you eat, you have, you have something sweet. Huh? What do you think it is? Chocolate. 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 Oh, it's his birthday. What do you think we can do? every one of you donuts yeah to celebrate prophet ellen justin's happy birthday okay So, happy birthday, happy birthday, Okay, yes, we can start. Happy birthday to
you love the Jews and thank you God. <laughs> May God bless you. Amen. Do you love the Jews, you say? Yes. Okay. Yes, we do. <laughs> And the and the stew is nice. Yes, yes. everything oh, okay. is nice. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and thank you for the team. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you for the shoe. You're welcome. <laughs> and <I> don't <laughs> May God bless you yes. and your family. Amen. 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 Thank you. <laughs> thank you, you for me, Justin. You're welcome. <laughs>
Ajale jile. We just like to say on behalf of Botsabella that we are just so grateful for the gift you have given us and that the kids just had a wonderful day and they actually had more than what they were supposed to get. Their helpings were wonderful and the juices are wonderful. Thank you. We can't thank you enough. All our blessings, all our blessings go to you and we hope we see you next year again for your next birthday. So we just want to thank you for all the effort you took in cooking everything. Mm. We heard you guys cooked everything <laughs> and we know what it is to cook. We cook yeah. every day. So we just appreciate it. We know how hard it was for you guys to cook so much food, but we thank you so much because we do those meals all the time. And the meat is something that we don't have most of the yes. time. We have it once in a while. So for that, it's actually a huge blessing for us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Guys, give a nice round of We're gonna say the magic word together. What is the magic word? Thank you. What is the magic word? Thank you. So now we are going to sing. Thank you. Thank you. children who are either orphaned or abandoned and some of the families that are unable to um, get by you know day to day mm -hmm. so maybe just tell us about the programs that you run and when you started yeah so um, actually it's um, kind of like a family business our parents started it in the early 90s and um, it sort of grew into something bigger they had the idea of a kibbutz system of community living and um, Nicole and I obviously left school and we decided to continue running the organization. And the whole aim is poverty alleviation. Uh, our parents just 
Uh, their first and only goal was to show kindness. Yeah. Kindness. Mm. And that's her whole philosophy is just that. Yeah. So what we offer is we have soup kitchen, we have an open door policy, we're a, we're a village. Yeah. Mm. So the property is ours and we have a village of about 900. Yeah. And everyone has a job in the area but a lot of people fall on, on hard times. So we run a, a soup kitchen. Free and um, education, free education. We have study times in the evenings. We have Wi-Fi. We have an entertainment center for the kids where they have DSTV. They can shower and use the ablution blocks. And then we have a poverty campus. Mm. So we help a lot of poor kids from Morikana, from Rustavik. Everybody hears about us how safe we are as a campus. And they have the school. They have the soup kitchen. And then their families organize just to stay on the property just during the school term right. so that everybody's safe and they can have everything that we have to offer yeah. for kids. Yeah. Well, that's actually very noble. I like that. A community and a village of kindness. Yes, mm. that's, that's exactly nice. it. Yes. Yes. And, and to say that it, the sad thing which we found mm -hmm. is that when we had a documentary made about what we do, which is called Angels in the Dust, we, we got so many awards all over the world just because we were kind mm. yeah. Yeah. and we have the philosophy, philosophy of kindness yes. and you actually not too far off from prophet's own philosophy yes. okay yes. his philosophy is also <laughs> kindness and oh, love wow. yeah and um, to help the less privileged one of his main uh, mottos of the ministry is giving to the less less privileged mm -hmm. is um, greater than preaching the gospel yeah so that is basically his his you know he had he also started um almost like this you know his dad died when he was 11 oh, yeah. and he didn't have that kind of family support and he knows what it's like to be yeah. an orphan to be out there to be struggling on your own on your own mm -hmm. and even though he didn't have much he always made it a point to give you know he talks of his prison ministry days mm -hmm. his prison ministry days he wouldn't have any money to get a, a bus fare from one place to the next to the prison. So he would walk and his shoes would be, he said, my shoes are looking in heaven. Uh, but he would get to the, the prison every morning at 7 a.m. he's there. And what he did was he changed people's lives around just by talking about kindness, about love, prayer, you know how uh, important it is to understand the purpose of life you know that you are here not just to take but you are here to also give yeah and uh, his, he and his wife actually have done a lot of good work uh, you know in the days and Robert was also in a, a, was, um, a refugee in Botswana for about 20 years oh wow so his heart is very close to this place he absolutely he absolutely loves the, the children, he, he feels like you know you instill the kindness in them from now, yeah. when they grow up later, yes. you know, they will remember this and they will also pay it forward. Yes. Yes. And, and that's what we do, that's why we're, we're just a, a woman and child village with mostly yeah. children. Mm -hmm. So children. that's what we do, mm -hmm. we have Christmas, doesn't matter how many kids we have for Christmas, yeah. we try and collect money and we make sure every child gets a present, yeah. we show all the kids that it's a family day, it's family. whether we have one turkey or five, mm -hmm. we all get so that we can show this is what you do when you grow up with your family one day. Teaching them. So yeah. all those mm. Easter, we do, Easter, we do the winter, yeah. we camp with the kids during all the school holidays yeah. just to show them this is family time. Mm -hmm. This is what you're going to do one day with, with your, your family. family. Yeah. You build from love and that's how you grow as a human. Absolutely. And you know, it's also, people always say, are you not overrun? Are there not so many people? But you know, it's one person at a time. You have to help one person. Yes. Yes. It's a ripple effect. Yes. No, this is awesome. Yeah. And we, we pray that uh, you continue to do this. Thank you. And that Botchapella will see many more days of kindness and love going forward. And, you know, that this will always be a light for others. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank it's you a wonderful so much. blessing. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, you guys must enjoy the rest of your week. Oh, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
and also you know like we, we like just your donation of shoes alone will help so many uh, kids yes because shoes is always a big thing you know kids yeah. and School shoes shoes and normal shoes because mm, yeah. kids just go through shoes yes they do like yeah. at a rate mm. you know so the shoes is just a blessing yeah mm. i'm glad thank, glad. You. <laughs> thank you thank you yeah. yes, thank you all right so we will leave you to enjoy it. Ah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Okay, thanks. Drive safely, guys. Okay, thank you.